I'm CBS 11 meteorologist Jeff Ray. We turned the cameras off to the east northeast to catch the first light of day and what a blue sky is it is this morning. We had really dry air in place and not a lot of wind. Temperatures were allowed to drop into the mid 30s across the Metroplex. This is about 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. So this is a very cold start for mid March and Denton it got down to 33 and Bridgeport it got down to 28. So it was near hard freeze category growing season just now getting started as of today in Bridgeport. Look at Cleburne in Johnson County getting down to freezing as well. So some cold start. I, I suspect this is going to be the coldest morning we will have to next fall the way things are looking. But your forecast for today is for highs to actually reach around 60 degrees. We'll have this northeast wind that made for a little bit of a wind chill this morning. We'll also kind of hold these temperatures and check through the day. But we certainly have plenty of sunshine here across the day. You see temperatures right now are warming up. Those are the lows this morning and these are highs today as we expect 60 degrees will be in the mid 50s after a freezing start in the panhandle. You know, I was telling you this, I think that this morning will be the coldest morning we'll have next fall because we're getting into the growing season now and model comparison about tomorrow morning. Yeah, you see some mid 30s in the GFS and the Euro model, but the RPM and the NAM showing temperatures in the 40s. And if you took a look at what they were thinking about this morning, these numbers are a little bit higher. So we're actually forecasting a low of about 39 degrees tomorrow morning. Now the average date of the last freeze is already passed, March 12th. The last freeze we had was March 6th. So we didn't have a freeze obviously today at DFW with that low of 36, but we should be in the growing season now. The average date of the first freeze is November 22nd. So that's 250 days of gardening there. The week of a warm up in store for us as well. You know, we're talking about these temperatures warming up not only in morning lows, but daytime highs. Today's high is 60 on Sunday for St. Patrick's Day, 63 degrees. It's really a beautiful weekend. 65 forecast high Monday, and I think by Wednesday we'll hit 70. And Wednesday, of course, the first day of spring. Remember in the in the winter, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, but it's as it makes its rotation around the sun, that tilt changes. And now, as of Wednesday, in fact, the sun kind of directly overhead of the equator, the most direct rays at least are right over the equator, crossing the equator and getting into the northern hemisphere. So that means the days are starting to lengthen and that means we're going to officially start spring, which happens on Wednesday at 4.58 p.m. And from then on, it's spring about 90 days until we start summer. Future sky forecast, this is Thursday, all right? We don't have any rain in the forecast until we get until until the end of this work week. So on Thursday, we'll have some clouds, but we'll still hit about 70 degrees. Notice this system coming in out of the west. Still not here by Friday early, but by Friday morning and Friday afternoon, we start seeing these rain chances, most over in the western counties. And then as we go through the rest of Friday night and into Saturday, we see these rain chances continuing and then start to pull away Saturday afternoon. So the way that looks later this week is that Friday has a 30% chance of rain and Saturday a 40% chance of rain. Until then, we're just talking about things warming up. We'll be into the upper 60s, into the 70s, and then because of the rain on Friday, we'll have some cooler weather in store for us. I, I think as far as temperatures, you notice these overnight lows in the 40s, and even in the 50s by Friday. So we are talking about uh, warmer temperatures. And though we got the rain holding the highs in the 60s, keep in mind by this time the highs should be around 70. That's where we'll be by Sunday and Monday. We'll be into the 70s and the warm up will commence uh, full force. So St. Patrick's Day tomorrow looks great. And the first day of spring looks very nice as well.